All right, so here's the turbo. There's a waste gate. So that thing is in now, but you see how it glues. So it's, it needs to be sealed, snug. Not the tight tight, but snug enough that way it doesn't let the air leak as bad. So if you see that's moving, the reason being behind this is this little tank. I will get this closer with the camera, see how that moves. So the area in here is kind of worn out. See now how big that hole is right there? It's not even round anymore. So that hole, see how it's worn out. This side has more meat, uh, this side has less. And the same thing with the activator rod. And if you can see it, but you can see that activator rod also, activator rod rivet is also worn out. So you will see some videos and comments and vlogs and vlogs where the people preferring to stay now, they went out in a car and bend this rod, but that does, it pushes it that way and shuts the gauge tight. But keep in mind though, if it's this worn out, either you've been bending this rod or losing these two little bolts down there and rimming those holes and pushing the whole tank that way, it's gonna shut the, shut the gauge tight. But if you see this, it's gonna shut the gauge tight one gate tight one way. But now when it, when it comes time to open the gate, you're gonna have these delays. So this delay it can give you oil boost and will also give you check engine light. So really, if you want to do that, if this, this thing fine, but just this over here, over time can get also, also stretched that you gotta use two wrenches like I had in my previous video, that I'm grabbing a one wrench here, after I open this thing. So I grab it, put in one wrench here, another wrench here, and kind of twist it. That way has has a better seal. When you do that and this thing on top over here is not ruined, then yeah, you can do it. You know, but if it's this thing ruined, either you'll be twisting these or pulling a rod back, or there it doesn't matter. So it you're not gonna solve these so it's going to be delayed when when turbo comes to open the gate it's going to be that delayed so you might have an under over boost but that's not what you want you're going to start seeing a pop in the hoses and all kind of problem and for sure we'll give you check engine light so as this room over here it needs to be fixed over here not over there it needs to be fixed here so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna weld this out, fill it in completely. Then I'm gonna drill a nice round hole, right in that weld. And then the same thing on this side, I'm gonna take this rivet out and I'm gonna put a new rivet in there and weld it on top. So now everybody does not have a welder and capability of doing all this, but that's the way I'm gonna do it this time. The second option, I could do is drill this hole a little bit bigger, make them nice and round. But now if I do that, I'm taking this meat away. That's gonna make this area weaker. But it's not gonna be bad that there's no whole lot of pressure in this tank. At least, you know, it depends how you drive in a car, but yeah. And then, then I could replace this rivet in and this rod and make this rivet thicker. That way it fills that hole nice and tight. Then you gotta put the locking washer under it for sure. And this one didn't even find the locking washer. It, it fell off somewhere. So that's my plan. 
to do with this thing. Uh, just keep in mind, this is how I do it myself. I'm not telling anybody to do it, but this is how I do it. But I really would not prefer to, to fix it anywhere. When it's this right here loose, it needs to be fixed it over here. It's not gonna solve it. You can just go fix it. If you fix it there or whatever or right here, it's probably gonna solve one problem, but second problem you're gonna create it because this delays. So you need to be nice and, and snug. So let's get on and then uh, try to roll this when I get this. It's kind of hard for me to hold the camera at the same time and do this. All right, there you go. That thing is rolled back. You see, it is very solid now. It was just slightly moment I was. I rolled it back and in. It's not as pretty because it's so small, you know. It's really hard to weld this thing. And, you know, I turn it, weld it down all the way to like 25 amps. And if I hold that thing any longer than this thing, it just literally melts the thing out. So this piece of steel here is really soft for some reason. So I literally have to tack it and build it back up, grind it off, and then drill a new hole through it to make sure that this thing sits in tight. But it's pretty tight now, as you see. It's not a moment. So, <clears throat> and if I have to adjust it now, just a hair, I can do it here, just a hair, because this thing is not moving no more. Sorry. So the other important part is, when, when it comes to this, <clears throat> making sure when you do tie this, you don't wanna tie that so much to keep the pressure in this. This thing has a pretty strong spring. I'm gonna, I can't. It has a pretty strong spring. So anytime with this thing restructs back, the spring is the one which one pushes back and has an end hits on it. So you don't wanna keep the too much pressure on these. If you keep it too much pressure on this gate here, something is gonna give either here how it was or here or whole thing will bend or something or rod will stretch something will give so you have to be right actually there you got to be almost perfect enough to this gauge shut that that is not that is not <clears throat> too tight just the barely that closes that keeps itself can't it that way when this thing restructs back it doesn't keep too much pressure on this thing. That way it's not going to end up breaking, stretching or whatever. So it needs to be set right about there. Perfect. So this is it with the turbo. And <clears throat> I don't know. I can call this temporary fixed, I guess. It's weld now. It should be permanent. It's not as best weld. It doesn't look as pretty. I will never probably have to look this thing again. Probably engine will go before these and that engine like i said has well over 200,000 miles so i don't know if that engine gonna outlast this turbo now possibly that is well pretty good so other than that this literally has to go back in the car all right also there was a question on previous video um can you fix under boost that lose waste gauge um, if there's turbo still on an actual car? Um, I say no. I don't think there's really a way to get to it. Once again, if you don't, maybe, maybe if you take all this out from down there, then it would probably give you this little axis here, here but it's really not much, a couple of inches in between a block and turbo and all these hoses and all this stuff that you're gonna be in the way. All right, so I'm gonna put this turbo back on now. If you put this little brackets back now a little bit and just keep them loose, drive these nuts in by a finger, that way we can slip turbo in there in that little tank. Will slip right in that pocket and it will just kind of drive it in on this nut bolts on top of the studs. Alright, guys, as you see, turbo is back in. 
everything is nice and tight everything is stored properly all I have to do is put the air box back connected hose there there you go guys everything is done engine is back This was about TFSI RDA filter, but that's what it is. So once again, this car is back on the road, no check engine no more, no under thing. Starter is back on, and starts right up. So uh, thanks for watching again, like, say, and subscribe.